So guys, I got this new target. You can see here it's AR500 steel. Look at this thing, it's so beautiful. Like it's just, it's so gorgeous. I just wanna, oh yeah, it's so pretty. I, just, I hate to shoot it, man. God, I hate to shoot that thing. It's so gorgeous, man. Like it's got this beautiful sticker on it with this, I just, I hate the, Welcome back to G Shot Outdoors, guys. Today we are going to do a little review on Gabe's new rifle. You can see from the box, it is a Hammerly TAC R1 22. It's a 22 LR AR15. It's actually made by Walther, but it is under the contract of Hammerly. So I open the box here. You can see everything that comes in the box. Of course, we've got the rifle perfectly placed. We've got the 20 round magazine. One thing I don't like about this is, in comparison to the other AR-15 22s, is this one only comes with one, one magazine. Um, we were looking at another one, the M&P, and it comes with two. However, one thing I like about this gun that, that the M&P doesn't have is this extra long handguard. Of course, it's got a full-length Picatinny rail. It's got the adjustable stock. This even has these nice flip up front and rear sights. It's got the bolt lock, just like a regular AR-15. It's got your safety. It's even got a dust cover, which is pretty neat, especially for a 22. And then this forward assist is just for looks. It's got a, uh, a threaded barrel with a flash hider. I like it. Gabe likes it too. Definitely. Now that you've seen all the basics, we're gonna try a little bit of shooting. I know you saw it in the last video. If you saw the last video, you saw us shoot it some. We're using this uh, dirty ammo again. So we're gonna see, hopefully we don't have any jams. If we do, we'll switch over to the, the cleaner ammo. But we're testing accuracy again, and this time we're gonna be a little more accurate. We've actually got the rangefinder. We've got it set at 25 yards, and then we're going to back it up to 100 yards. So let's see what this does at 25 yards. Might help if I load it. I'm going to try a smaller target. You're getting um, shelled Not too bad. Truck. Let's go check out our hits. All right, so I, aimed, I shot at this one first. It's hard to tell exactly where to shoot with those ghost, with that, uh, well, it's not a ghost ring, but it's a, a that back sight's kind of big for the small sight to be so small. So I shot kind of high on that one. I was trying to aim a little bit more centered. And then on these, I've, I've kind of figured out where to aim, shooting a little high. So then I shot that one, it's still a little high. Come over to this one, it's a little bit lower. And that one's even lower. And I got up a little bit higher on this one. So I'm, I'm pretty much figuring out where to aim. It's uh, not too bad for 25 yards. So let's go try it a little bit further back and see how, how good we can get. 
All right, now let's try it at 50 yards to see how accurate this thing is with these iron sights. Okay, it is tough to hit those little targets at 50 yards. I got one though. <laughs> Let's go check it out and see how accurate it is. So that was my first shot up here. The second shot was here. I could actually see, obviously, from it went from bright orange to black, so I could see that. Third shot was down there. Then I came over here and shot at these. Shot at this one first, and obviously I completely missed. Then I shot at this white one. Earlier I hit it down here, so I hit it kind of high, but I did hit it at 50 yards. That's not too bad. If you look at these, you can actually see that rear sight has a pretty good size hole. So when you're up close, that hole gets a whole lot bigger. And the hole gets a whole lot bigger. And then it's hard to tell exactly where that front sight's gonna be. It's kind of like the uh, ghost ring on the back of that shotgun. It's not quite as big as a ghost ring, but I would like for it to be a little bit smaller. Um, I know I've got some Magpul uh, flip-up sights on my AR, and the rear sight is quite a bit smaller than that, the hole. So I would suggest if you want to do a little bit more accurate, get a little bit more accurate with this with longer range, you definitely want to try to, you might want to change that rear sight out. But just for some plinking, it is pretty fun. Okay, so now we're gonna try it at 100 yards. We got a table set up this time, make it a little more sturdy. It's extremely difficult to shoot that far standing. From where I'm sitting right here is fluctuating, but it's right about 100 yards. I guess technically, if you wanna say the front of barrel is a few feet in front of me, <laughs> might be a yard in front of me, but I don't think a yard is going to make that much difference. So let's see how accurate this is. And another thing I thought about, that dirty ammo, it's very corroded. So it might affect the accuracy just a little bit. 100 yards with a 22 LR. I've got to account for the drop. Let's see what I can hit. I'm almost positive I'm not going to hit one of those small plates. I'm going to try for this orange one. All right. You might hit something. I don't know. Let's go see what we did. So, I was aiming down here for the most part. Looks like I hit there, there, and there. And there. And then I shot up here, which I was actually aiming probably right about here. Well, Again, it's hard to say because that that big ring in the back, I can't exactly tell where I'm at at 100 yards away. It's tough. Um, as you can see, though, it is aiming right. Long distance is going to the right, so it would need to be adjusted just a hair. That would explain why I kept hitting it on the right on those. I know those aren't long distance, which, I mean, I did hit that one in the middle. So, who knows? Maybe it's just the... Uh, 
the ammo. Oh wow, I hit it up here. You did. I hit it up there and then I hit it down here. That's really cool. So yeah, um, it's hard to tell where I'm hitting it. Hmm. Let's try it one more time. So I'm gonna try one more time at 100 yards. Now that we know where we're hitting, I'm gonna try one at the bottom plate, one at the top plate. Maybe two. We'll see. Let's go check it out. So it looks like we got one more new hit. Did not hit the top plate. Again, it is definitely aiming right. Right of center. I'm not sure where the top one went. It may have gone too high. Wish I had a bigger, <laughs> should have brought a bigger uh, target to shoot at. As you can see, we've got a piece of, a big piece of cardboard set up so we can tell where we're hitting and how accurate this thing's gonna be. Got a little orange dot, probably about an inch and a half, two inches, well, probably about an inch and a half wide. And that's what I'm gonna be aiming for. I'm gonna take, do three shots and see how close they are to that dot. That's not good. What happened? I think it's because of that dirty ammo. Oh no. All right, one more shot. All right, let's go see how we did. <laughs> yeah. So here's my three shots. Uh, at 100 yards, that's not too bad. Like I said, the other ones were actually shooting to the right. That one went pretty center and then slightly left on those two. So if you're saying just out of those three and looking at these over here, grouping is probably somewhere in the eight inch range, eight to 10 inch range. Most of that's my fault because again, it is extremely, it, I just have to kind of wing it at 100 yards looking through that big hole in the back. There's no, it's not precise. If I had a scope on that gun and I had a crosshair, it'd be a lot more precise. And possibly the ammo. I mean, yeah, the ammo could have something to do with it as well. But again, rarely are you going to need to shoot 100 yards with iron sights, especially on a 22 LR. So I think it's pretty decent. Now let's go have some fun. Time for Oh yeah. Gabe is now going to shoot some more firebirds. I can hit it. There you there go. You go. <laughs> I tried to lean forward. Yep. There you go. That one wasn't as good. What the heck? I've got one down there on a the bottle. I'm going to see if I can hit it and see what happens. Well, actually, I can. It's like a... Spray can. That's what <laughs> I, I did. Oh, I hit something. 
Let's go see what it is. So I actually hit it kind of high. I hit it right at the top of the can. It, 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 it dented the can, but it didn't go in. I'm gonna try again. So I hit the center block right beside it and it blew it off. So we're getting, I'm getting a little bit closer. Apparently Gabe's a better shot than I am at this. more explosive than what we thought. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to ignite that can or not. Apparently it did. So all in all, I think it's actually a pretty decent rifle. I think Gabe really likes it. I do. I really like it. I think it's a lot of fun. And it's a whole lot cheaper than anything else that we have to shoot. Definitely. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe. Also check out our Patreon. We have a Patreon in the link description below. We also have uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok all in the description below so be sure to check us out as for now we love you and, and we'll catch you on the flip, flip side, side. Woo! at least i don't have to hit a two inch target this time i've got a foot pit uh, at least i don't have to hit a foot now we're going to try 200 yards again what kind of fish you think you'll catch in here i don't know <laughs> Just trying to fish. Yeah. I don't think I did it. Really caught him in a pen fish. And look at that hole. That is some hole. Oh! Woo! That's epic, dude! I can barely even see that target. Look at this. Pulling me good, man. Let's see him down there now. again.